Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another MacMarillion stream. You may notice that we're starting a bit later. I just had, you know, I was actually helping a friend move today. So, you know, things took longer than anticipated, which tends to happen during moves. But yeah, welcome everyone. Let's see, I see a couple of first time chatters. Let's see a Charles, a Suno Yuki, Missing No85, a couple other people joining in here, Rucker. Busy Timmy, Lelina, FitLab, Bookmonger, KSJ, that guy Starsky, Helicopter Fluffy. Who else is here? Baruki subscribing at tier one. Thank you for all your support. Let's see a Cloud Jack, Awul, hello Manlist. Thanks guys for joining in despite what well, I think it's about 45 minutes from our start time. If this is your first time joining, welcome to the weekly group by news stream, which we talk about all mechanical keyboard group buys occurring for the following week. This particular episode covers everything occurring tonight, which is what, May 29th, all the way till this coming Saturday, June 4th. So this seven day time period, we talk about all the group buys that are starting and ending. Well, as many as I can find. Here we go. This one is PGA Circus. I believe when I first talked about this, I actually misspelled it and called it PGA Circuit, but no, it's not. So for 95 bucks, you get a base kit that supports full size with a common, with some common layouts in between. Um, you also have novelties for 25, well, two sets of novelties, one at 25 and one at 20, and then space bars at $9. Um, if you want to save a little bit of money, you can go for the all-in-one kit, which is only $135. Yeah, this one includes, yeah, that one includes everything right there. Let's see, out of the two novelties, I'd probably go with the baby blue ones right here. So because this is on KBD fans, they don't really have a estimated delivery date. KBD fans usually likes to put that out whenever the group buy is ended. Maybe Q4 of this year, Q1 of next. That's that's my guess. But yeah, 95 to go for the base, 135 to go for the all-in kit. But this one goes until the 31st. If you guys are interested, definitely check it out. There you go, this one is DMK Damiki in former days, expiring on the first. This one's a green alphas white mods kit with a base kit starting at 120 bucks. Looks like it's got full keyboard coverage as well with common layouts in between. You've also got a pack of novelties for 38, covering both the, the light green and the white. You've got ISO, you've got a plonk supporting kit as well short space bars none of them are in white though it's just in the light green and the dark green got two metal artisans at 35 each and a desk mat and the unique aspect about this particular key set is that you have a choice of buying color matched switches at either a 70 count or 90 count with what is it 52 or 67 dollars so yeah yeah, so 120 for the base kit. To go all in, you're looking at roughly 380 bucks buying all of, all of the kits, the desk mat, the two artisans, and 90 switches. So yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. This one expires on the first. Um, also, no TBD. Oh, sorry, no ETA, it's, it's TBD. The next set that is expiring is also expiring on the first. There we go, GMK Peach Blossom, starting at $129 for the base kit. This one also supports up to full size and the common layouts in between. Um, you've also got the Hangul Alphas kit, if you would prefer to have Hangul Sub Legends at 42 bucks. You've also got Space Bars at 28, a Hibby Brass Artisan at 59, and also an Acero Foundry Artisan at 49. It looks pretty good. If you've been looking for a white on pink set and you wanted it to be of GMK quality, this is it. 129 for the base. To go all in on this, you're looking at spending about $300. And because GMK tends to be really backed up these days, its estimated delivery time is Q3 of 2023.
Let's see, look at all this. Very pretty. Very pretty. Um, I think when I first brought this up on the group, I mentioned that while I tend to like pink key sets, this this is maybe a little too bright for me. I would have preferred um something like a little darker or so, something like uh, GMK Darling's pink. So yeah. This one's a little too bright for me, especially when you render it this way. This one's way too bright. But yeah, check it out. Check it out if you guys are interested. This one expires June 1st. Let's see, next key set that is expiring. It's expiring the next day on the 2nd. This is DCS Vert. Here we go, DCS Vert starting at 120 bucks for the base kit. Also supporting up to full size. This is basically a white on dark green set. You do have other kits as well, such as the Chad Alphas kit, you can see. And also for some of you guys who have Tenu, Tenu spacebar supporting keyboards, here's a Tenu spacebar. <laughs> very cool, very cool. So yeah, only three kits in this key set. So if you wanted to go all in on this, you'd be spending 190 bucks. Um, Signature Plastics isn't as backed up as GMK. So this estimated time of delivery is Q1 of 2023. Well, let's take a look at some of these renders right here. I think this looks really good on a gray case. I will says it's not Cherry Profile. It is not. Um, DCS is Signature Plastics answer to Cherry Profile. It's a very cherry like profile yeah let's go take a look at a couple more let's see there we go there's a black one right there green on black i think the green on gray looks a lot better but yeah uh this guy expires on the second which is what when's the second thursday on thursday and delivery time q1 2023 Going all in on this is 190 bucks. The next one is the last key set on our list, expiring the following day on the third. Here we go. This one is GMK Universe. Your GMK Universe goes for 125 bucks for a base kit. This is the only base kit that we've talked about today that only supports up to TKL. You also have novelties for 42, spacebar for 34. Numpad for 39, International for 62, one desk mat for 25 bucks, and a Hibby Metal Artisan for $58. Looks kind of similar to DCS Vert in terms of in terms of colors, but I'd say this this shade of green is more palatable to me. This this almost looks like a variation of Solarized Dark to me, to be honest. Look at that. Very cool. So yeah, if you wanted to buy all of these kits, this dust mat and the artisan, you're looking at about 400 bucks. And cause this is a GMK set and like GMK Peach Blossom, it is very delayed. This one's actually delayed, or I guess it's estimated time of delivery is Q4 of 2023. As far as I know, these are the only key sets that are expiring this week. Just to give you guys a quick rundown once again, that is PGA Circus, DMK in former days, GMK Peach Blossom, DCS Vert, and last but not the least, GMK Universe. Out of these five key sets, which ones are you guys most interested in? I'd love to hear from the audience. You know, a lot of people seem to say that people like GMK Universe and DC, DC as Vert the best. Um, I think the one, the one key set that looks best to my eyes is probably DMK in former days. You know, like I still haven't picked up my my first GMK set. Like I guess I'm just waiting for one that really catches my eye. This one still doesn't do it, but out of these five, this is probably the key set that I would choose. Especially since it's like 120 bucks for 
full size support. Not bad, not bad. Let's talk about keyboards that are expiring. We also have a few things that are not key sets expiring this week. Very first item that's expiring on keyboards is KBD67 Lite R4. Um, R4 is actually the last time that they're doing the goop buy. So I hear. Um, the reason is they're, they're not canceling it, don't worry. What they're gonna do is they're gonna try and transition this to fully in stock. So you should be able to buy a KB67 Lite whenever you want after this group buy. Fingers crossed, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, you have your choice between black, white, transparent, flamingo pink. Oh, that's actually a really nice pink there. That would probably, that might work with uh, Peach Blossom. This is a bonnie cream, rosy brown, steel gray, vivid violet, pale turquoise, justice blue. I always like that term, justice blue. There's also powder blue, mint chip, and like always, you have quite a selection of PCBs, wired ANSI, wired ISO, and wireless ANSI. I believe the wireless ANSI is still using the YDKB.io site, so you can't program it through VIA or QMK configurator. So just keep that in mind if you go for wireless. Like I said earlier with PGA Circus, since this is on KBD fans, they don't actually update the ETA until after the group buy has ended. So based on their previous group buys, I would say maybe a three to four month wait. Fingers crossed, I'm not so sure. Check it out if you guys are interested. This one expires tomorrow on the 30th. All right, this next one, this one expires in June. There we go, this one is the S46 40%. You have a base starting at 169, and if you want e-white, that's where it dropped, where it jumps up by 20 bucks to 189 dollars. Comes in black, army green, dark blue, wine red, champagne pink, champagne purple, and of course you can buy additional PCBs, uh, additional FR4 plate, or my personal favorite, an additional carbon fiber plate. Now look at that. Um, I think if I were a 40% user, I'd definitely be really interested in this, especially that mirror finish on the back. Look at that. That, that reminds me of the Fuji 65. Very cool. And yeah, the price really isn't too bad either. 169 bucks and just an additional 20 bucks for, um, that E-White. And get this, this one delivers in September of this year, September 2022, not that long of a wait. Hopefully they can meet that expectation. Yeah, looks pretty good. Expires on June 1st, S46. Check it out if you guys are interested. The next keyboard is expiring on the 3rd. Punctuation would be the most difficult thing to get used to. Actually, yes, that's what really tripped me up. I had um, I had my semicolon on a different layer, and back then I was fully programming in C, which needs a semicolon at the end, and I, and I was like, why did I do this to myself? Oh my gosh. This is the KP69 starting at $120. You get you get a, like, how would you best describe this? This is closer to like a 66 key than a 65%, I'd say. But yeah, this is a 3D printed case with rotary encoder. You also have your option of having blockers like that and having a Swiss cheese case. Why you would want a Swiss cheese case is beyond me, but you know. Look, say so you've got quite a few supported layouts. You can do split space bar. You can set up your arrow keys. There's also ISO support. Yeah, lots of things you, you can do here, but the layout that I would probably go for is this one right here. So you may also notice that it's kind of weird because if you do want arrow key support, your left arrow key is gonna be a 1.25 U key which is kind of wonky. 
Piketty is a great small design company. I was very impressed with them on a board I ordered in the past. Yeah, looks looks very cute. I'd go for the split right shift, and then I'd go for all one use on, on that bottom right, so that I would still have like the right sized left key. Yeah, I think that's what I do. Let's see what else is here. Look at that. That is such a weird blocker position. Look at that, guys. Like, like what would you call that? That's not win keyless. That's a, a alt keyless, right? <laughs> That's so weird. But yeah, 120 bucks expires on the third. So we do have a couple more days if this is something you are interested in. Um, delivery date, estimated delivery date is very specific on this one. It's in November. Here we go. November 25th, 2022. That's a very, very specific <laughs> shipping date. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully they do meet that. We'll see. All right. As far as I know, those are the three keyboards that are expiring this week. Out of these three keyboards, which one is the audience most interested in? I'd love to hear from you guys in the chat window. Let's see, Piketty, none, Piketty, pass, KVD67 light, and cheese board. There we go, Piketty S46, the Shaggin' Wagons. So yeah, out of these three boards, um, I already have plenty of KVD67 lights. Um, 40%, like I said earlier, not something I've ever really gotten used to. This is more like a novelty form factor for me. Let's see, what else? Um, so like... Uh, what a lot of people have said so far, the KP the KP69 seems to be the most interesting. So I've got until the third to pick it up if I really want it. Okay, what's next on our list? What's next on our list is not a key set or a keyboard, but this one came in through our audience group by section a few weeks ago. There we go. This one is a novelty. I guess it's an artisan keycap. Of sorts but this is the clock cap check it out for a hundred twenty euro you get an actual working clock mechanism for your keycap like so for 120 euro is roughly a hundred twenty five US dollars ish no looks pretty cute you can also select your own watch face if I'm not mistaken so yeah, this is a 3D printed keycap itself, so do expect it to look 3D printed. It's not like it's it's not like a hippie artisan, right? It's 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 a 3D printed keycap, but it has a watch face on it or a clock face on it. Lots of different options right here. And only two per person. There we go. What is included? The clock cap, manual how to replace the battery. Um, an MX stem, real working clock mechanism, authentication card, interesting, and a couple awesome stickers. <laughs> yeah, really, really cool. Expected shipping is Q4 of 2022. So yeah, um, we'll get to you hopefully by Christmas for 125 euro. I've been thinking about buying this, but I really don't like 3D, like the 3D printed keycap look so that's the one thing that's really bothering me I, I i would love to see this in person first but yeah um as far as i know those are the only key sets keyboards and miscellaneous item that is expiring this week and as always i like to talk about how much it would cost you to join in on all of this Starting last week, I, I started providing a different metric simply because people were like, Merlin, no one ever buys every single kit in a key set for everything that's expiring for the week. So the number that you give is a very hypothetical number, a very extreme number. They're like, how much if you, if you were just to buy like everything in a week, but just like the base kit. So I started calculating that as well. So if you were to buy the base, only the base kits, the non-upgraded versions, no brass, no nothing of like every keyboard. The grand total for that would be $1,112. Still pretty pricey, still pretty pricey. 
But then to join in on literally everything, every kit in a key set, every like the like like the upgraded brass weights, going for the E white of a keyboard, that's when you're looking at two thousand one hundred and twenty six dollars, almost double the price of going for bass. Yeah, two thousand one hundred twenty six. The Alan Harper versus the Elon Musk buyer. Pretty sure Elon Musk isn't just double Alan Harper at this point. But yeah, that's 1,112 or 2,126 to go all in. Now, despite our best efforts, we tend to miss group buys just because there's so much happening in our hobby. It's, it's really impossible to keep track of everything. Like we do have places like Mech Group Buys, Key Kaplander, we have like Geek Hack, we've got this stream. But even with all that, you know, stuff slips through the cracks. So stuff that I missed from last week. This first missed Group Buy, this one started last week. Here we go. This one is a Milky Way set. Milky Way is a PBT manufacturer, and this one is 2D GF, 2D Eurofend. <laughs> yeah, this one does not exactly have like a base set of sorts, but rather they have, you know, you can pick your combination of alphas. You want your degen alphas. Here, let's take a look at <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. You've got Hiragana alphas as well. <laughs> So you can mix and match your alphas and your your choice of modifiers, right? It's like honestly, like they provide normal alphas and normal mods. But why even buy this set if you're gonna buy the normal ones, right? <laughs> but yeah, if you did want to buy all of this, all four kits in this key set, you are looking at 170 bucks. And because this is Milky Way, uh, Milky Way is not as backed up as uh, GMK, we are looking at a Q4 of this year in terms of delivery. Yeah, this is this is not really a set I would <laughs> I would ever buy. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> These are basically all novelties, right? These are all basically novelties. Let's see, any more pictures here? There we go, close up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, the normal version of this is just EPBT sushi. I I would agree with you on that. That's That's very true. So like, if you are really going to buy this, oh, I don't see a point buying the standard version because, you know, this is EPBT Sushi, right? But yeah, check it out. Check it out. Expires on the 20th. That's June 20th. You can buy every kit for 170 and estimated delivery Q4 of 2022. The next item that I missed is actually a, a set that completely caught me off guard and is something I'm very, very interested in. This next set is KDS Solarize Dark. So I am a big fan of GMK Solarize Dark. Um, I actually have it on my Volcano 660. The reason why I like Solarize Dark is because it's the IDE theme that I use during whenever I'm coding. So de definitely up my alley in terms of colors. Um, I know Solarized Dark has come out in, in, other, in other profiles, but the GMK one is still my favorite. Um, this one though, with the signature plastic colors, this one comes very close. Actually, this isn't even signature plastic colors. It looks very much like signature plastic colors. But check out the price, guys. This is what's making me want to buy this. $64.99. $64.99. Looks like it supports a, a full keyboard with most of the common layouts in between. A lot of this is still renders. So the one question that I have is will the legends be this sharp? No idea. 
If we were to go all in on this set, you're looking at about $95. And it has a Q3 2022 delivery. That is so close. See that? Arrival date, arrival late Q3 2022. I'm willing to give this key set a shot simply because I like the colorway so much. And $64.99 isn't too much money. Even if I bought like the other kit, it only brings it up to $94.98. So yeah, I'm willing to give this a shot, especially since it's colorway that I liked. And usually with PBT sets, there is some warpage involved. Um, when you look at this one, look at this one. This is not just dice sub, but it's reverse dice sub. This is how they get a a darker keycap with a lighter legend and still have it dice up on PBT, right? Um, if you employ that process on PBT, the chances of warpage is even higher, but I'm hoping for 65 bucks, the warping isn't that bad. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. See earlier, I talked about how people are getting fatigued by group buys. So let's talk about some in-stock items. I like to use a website called Thoxstock.com. This is actually designed by one of my frequent viewers, Scott Waters. He aggregates a bunch of the things that are in stock in our hobby right now. Everything from keyboards to something like switch modification. And it's not all just within the United States. In fact, he tries to, to put as many links to the stores that provide said item as possible. I'm, I'm only gonna go through two of them today. And starting with the first one, this one I don't think is even on this site. But there we go. I, I learned about this through the Seattle Discord actually. But apparently Keychron has a Cherry Profile PBT set, double shot PBT set. Check it out. Double shot PBT cherry, full set, keycap set, gray, white, and blue. Look at that compatibility. That is huge for what? Look at the price on this, guys. $40. $40, huge compatibility. Like, I can already tell from this that the legends aren't, aren't the best. Like if you look at, okay, if, if this is what it's going to look like, look at how close delete is to the edge of the keycap. It's not even centered properly, right? But yeah, but for 40 bucks, it's a $40 key set with lots of compatibility. I'm, I'm very curious, very curious about this. You can do a full set, gray and white, gray, gray and white, 40 bucks, right? Um, I don't know where they ship from, so I'm anticipating that you might you might pay a hefty shipping fee. Shipping might might cost 20 bucks. We'll see. We'll see. Is this set OSA? No, it is not. This is a cherry. This is a double shot PBT cherry profile full set keyboard. So keep in mind, this keycap set does not include the keyboard. Well, I guess people still still like ask about that to this very day. There you go. What else? Comes with a gray, white, and blue colorway and it features double shot legends, double shot PBT, making it oil resistant, durable, and long lasting. With our special method, the legends on the keycap will maintain its original state much longer than many of their peers. Look at that. 1.5 millimeter PBT keycap design goes through a frosted process to give it a grainy surface texture. Oh, okay. So if it's a, if they're actually calling out the grainy surface texture, then this might be rougher than, let's say, than even nice PBT. Let's see, cherry profile, size and height for each keycap. Cool. Yeah, for forty dollars, this is, this is not bad for a filler set you know you guys know that i got lots of keyboards here either through vendors or either through like a customer build and the one thing that i always have trouble doing is once i finish building the board i'm like 
Okay, what key set should I put on this? Do I have any spare key sets here or do I need to dismantle a, an existing board? And more often than not, I need to dismantle an existing board. But maybe if I buy like a few of these for 40 bucks, I could do it. We'll see. Let's see, it, it doesn't look bad for 40 bucks, okay? If this was 90 bucks, I could point out so many things that were bad, but for, but for 40 bucks, not bad, not bad at all. I'm actually like reaching out on like the CL Discord being like, okay, shipping is gonna be expensive, so does anyone want to bundle shipping with me? We can save a few bucks here and there. Helicopter Floppy says, layout compatibility is amazing, absolutely. Oh, of course, then they list all of their boards that are compatible and that's, that's huge. This keycap set does not include the keyboard. There we go. <laughs> All right. So that's in stock right now. So check it out if you guys are interested. All right. The next item that, that caught my eye is a keyboard. The reason why it caught my eye is because I immediately thought of Johnny Walker. <laughs> That's like, hey, I like Johnny Walker. <laughs> this is the Portico 68 Black Label build kit. <laughs> I wonder if they'll have a blue label later on. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are familiar with the Portico, the Portico was one of the, I, I like to call this the budget 65 wars that came out when the N, when the nk65 ee came out then people like the kv67 light then you had the portico you had like a bunch of other ones come out like like it first came out in in a plastic chassis but now they're going the full metal route at 250 bucks yeah available in rose obsidian bombay and angora so yeah, if you guys remember my Portico unboxing, I encountered a lot of issues with that, mainly on the manufacturing and then on and then on the QC. But once you actually put the board together, it was fine. Definitely not the best experience I've had, but it was fine. Fine for what the board sold for at the time. So I'm hoping that the metal version, considering that it's quite a lot more expensive, hopefully they've fixed a couple of those issues. In fact, let's see, in fact, I think I have the portico within reach. There we go. Portico comes with the case like so. I actually bought the bundle that came with the, with the key set. So here's mine right here. Do that not not the best of boards unfortunately I, I I honestly bought this just to try it out and I think if I remember correctly the unboxing and the build experience were both dis disappointing like I said the only reason why this caught my eye was because I immediately thought of Johnny Walker and I like Johnny Walker <laughs> So yeah, hoping hoping this will be a much better experience. But at 249, I feel like while the porticos was, you know, it it seemed to be on time along with everyone else making budget 65s, the metal version of this seems a little late. There's a lot of other keyboards you can buy for around the same price that are arguably a better experience. Well, it's it's been proven to be a better experience right but yeah hoping they have fixed a lot of those issues since they are calling it a a v2 of sorts Let's see what did i even put on this what keycaps did i put on my portico probably like ks3 or something oh I didn't even put KS3s in them. This is like old school, regular milky top Gateron yellows. Interesting. Frostwind says, in the age of QK68, Zoom 65, I'd even say, and Bakaneko 65, it's it's definitely a 
Hmm, is this really the best board for my money? Like, honestly, it doesn't sound bad. I think, like, my biggest issue with this is that it didn't have ESD protection on the PCB, and, like, the LED lighting, the RGB lighting didn't didn't amuse me, didn't, didn't impress me. Here, let's see. They, look at that, that's... that's that's pretty lame. <laughs> That's pretty lame. Check it out if you guys are interested. Let's see. Let's move on to starting group buys, which honestly we don't have too much starting today. This one is GMK Bordeaux. Group buy starting on May 30th. Another wine theme key set. Like I think there was like a couple of weeks ago I talked about IFK port. In fact got it right here. I, I actually rebuilt my Bacaneco with IFK port. So yeah, look at this one. This one is GMK Bordeaux, starting with a base price. I believe this was 135 for the base kit. You have other alternate alphas, like so. Couple cool novelties. I, I really like the wine glass one. I will have to say that the red is a little too saturated for my tastes. It's pretty, but not something I would personally buy, to be honest. It's, it's too much red. Red is one of my least favorite colors. Look at that. I, I really like these dust mats. It's like a wine stain one. And totally, if I buy one of these, I totally like, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd add my own wine stains. <laughs> I would add my own wine stains to this. Let's see, vendors are gonna be Mex and Co. My keyboard, Ash Keys, Prototype is Daily Clack, TikTok, uh, KD Fans, and Monster Gear. And it looks like he updated all the pricing. So that's good. 135 for the base, 70 for the alphas, 41 for the novelties, 31 for space bars, 52 for Nord. So what, what's that? That's uh, roughly $300. Roughly $300 to go all in on this. Very cool. Um, I do notice he didn't factor in the pricing for the artisans quite yet, so maybe closer to 400. Very cool. It's a grape. And ooh, I like this one. This one's pretty fancy. And of course you got an Acero Foundry one as well. This one... I can't quite make out what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be a... Actually, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> no, Escape Lab has to say a color matched one. Whoa, what's this? This looks cool. What else? You've also got wooden keycaps. Oh yeah, these are gonna be hell expensive. Let's see, what was that key set that that had these that had them for ninety five bucks each? It's kind of gonna be the same deal. Look at that resin keycaps. Oh, these are cute. Got cables, cable collabs. See, Aerospice, if you're watching this, if you're watching this either live and you're not saying anything, or if you watch this on YouTube one day, I would like to hear your own personal wine recommendations. So yeah, let me know. I'm an avid wine drinker and so is my wife. So I would, would love to hear recommendations from someone who would make a key set called GMK Bordeaux. <laughs> Very interested. But yeah, check it out guys. This one starts on the 30th. If you are a fan of Bordeaux and like these deep brown reddish colors, check it out. Check it out. All right, next key set that's running is another GMK set. This one's starting on June 1st. This one is GMK Prussian Blue. 
at that. Think of this as like a white on blue set. Look at that. Um, this blue looks really close to GMK stock color of T1. Does he actually talk about the colors here at all? This looks like T1. Let me see. Nope, it's not T1, so it's definitely some kind of custom color. It's very close to T1. GMK Impression Blue uses a simple color scheme with the GMK stock white CP custom color for its base. RAL 230 2020. Interesting. Okay, this looks so close to T1. Let me just. It's hard, hard to see because uh, there's no exact RAL. There's no exact RAL color for GMK standard color codes, or at least I can't find one right now. Okay, pe people are saying it's close to RAL 5009, so mm, maybe a little bit more, more digging here. But yeah, that looks very much like T1. Stock color T1 to me. Maybe a little more saturated. But yeah, looks like comes with two base kits. You got the Polish US base, as you can as you guys can see here. And then there's the German base right here. Oh, it's one of my keyboards. Just because I pulled out pulled out the portico, it kind of fell over on its side. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, a couple child kits here. You got space bars, international kit. What else is here? Board renders. Oh, that's cute. See the bear? That looks really good on a polycarb board. I like that. Very nice. Let's see, set comparison chart. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this compares all of them, but they're not comparing it against T1 quite yet. Yeah, I swear this looks very much like T1. Right, very cool, very cool. I'm very interested in this set because I cause cause I like the colors. Like the colors a lot here. And yeah, so far no um no pricing mentioned at all and no no ETA, but given that this is a GMK set and the current running or the currently ending GMK set delivers in Q4 2023, I would imagine that this would also be Q4 2023 or Q1 2024. <laughs> All right. Check it out. You guys have time. Right, the next set, here we go. What's the next set? It's also another GMK set. Lots of GMK sets starting this week. Probably mispronouncing this name, but this is, here we go. GMK Mict, Mictalon. Don't know how to pronounce it. This is my debut set, inspired by our popular Mexican celebration, the Day of the Dead. Very cool. Lots of different colors on black. This is kind of like, I think when, when someone first showed this to me, they're like, oh, it's it's like Handerbite, but with a black background. <laughs> but yeah, here, let's see, $99 for the base kit. Look at that, this is a full size supporting base kit. It's 99 bucks and it even comes with the novelty over there on R1 for the escape keys. Look at that, see that? Very pretty for 99 bucks. 
Let's see, if you also have an alternate base kit, also for 99 bucks. If you would prefer the, the colors changing on your mods only, then go for this one. Go for this one. Let's see, you also have, what's this? Hiragana Sub-Legends. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I get it. That's funny. <laughs> so you've also got the novelties for 45. Now these are really nice. I think I think even if I don't buy this key set, I might just buy the novelty. These these are so beautiful to me. I really like that. Really like this. Let's see, you got space bars for 15. Not bad. Let's look at a couple of vendors here. Yeah, I think I prefer the alternate base kit over the main one. Oh, is this going to be a collab board of sorts? Maybe. This set is banger. I'm proud that it's Mexican too. The NK65, nice. What's this one? The Sace. Very cool. Yeah, I like this. I like this set a lot. And even if I don't jump in on it, I'm definitely buying just, just the novelties because they look so unique. I like these a lot. See, desk mats. Oh, okay, these are so colorful. Very pretty. Floribella. That is gorgeous. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's that's such a cool weight. Let's see, type 60, the serpent 65. Wow. Oh wow, okay. To collaborations, lots of people that he's collaborating with. Cool. That's that's the whole list right there. Cool, yeah, I really like this design. Like I I honestly don't know too much about Day of the Dead, but I guess this is a time to learn more about it, right? <laughs> See, helicopter says, if there is extras, I might get them. So the one thing that I, I'm curious about this set, like, like a couple of people asked me this and they were like, Merlin, is this, you know, is this a form of cultural misappropriation or is someone making Mexican culture just a costume for a keyboard? And I was like, that's actually a very good question with a lot of people asking those types of questions these days. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Is this a form, is this kind of like cultural misappropriation? Is this just a costume for a keyboard? You know? What do you guys think? The designer is a Mexican, but you know, you could, it, it also goes down to who buys this, right? Like is someone buying this because they think it's a cool thing to do or is it really a, or would they buy this to really appreciate Mexican culture, right? See, Metrotron says, I think it celebrates the culture. I think this is sharing culture. Okay. Let's see, Mr. Bottom says, people need to get back in their woke caves and cool down. 
As a Mexican, it's not. This is representing the culture in a fun way. It's more of an appreciation. Let's see, helicopter says, this did such a good job sharing the information about culture that I couldn't be upset. I think it's more of a celebration of the culture for sure. Yeah, I've I've also been asked this question when it came to like, you know, I'm I'm Filipino, so when a lot of the you know, a lot of the bye bye in key sets came out, people were like, Merlin, is this just, you know, just because a lot of people have said Actually, there was one person in chat calling the Bye Bye in Sub Legends as, oh, is this another Weeb key set? And I'm like, okay, yeah, I know. I know some people can't differentiate between Bye Bye in the Chinese Sub Legends and the Japanese Sub Legends, but people were wondering, is that also a form of cultural misappropriation? And my answer to them at the time was like, um, you need to look at the context because by buy-in is kind of a, it's a written text that is dying out. Not too many people know it anymore. So by them putting this on a key set, it kind of promotes it, it kind of makes it live again. So yeah, I think what a lot of people hear that, that they're saying about this as a promotion of the culture, as an appreciation of the culture, I think I'd, I'd agree with that. Let's see, Beak says, I think the examples of misappropriation is when they try to make use of it to make money without actually understanding it at all. There have been quite a few examples. Let's see, an example of appropriation set would have been EPBT origami. They had to rework it entirely because of the criticism that it was inaccurate to the culture. There we go, yep. See, Xro says, what about all the Japanese and Chinese themed sets? Are they cultural misappropriation? It was mainly with the with the Philippine ones. See, as soon as there's anything with the intent of bringing awareness is never misappropriation. Anyone remember GMK Classic Arabic? I think we talked about that, like, I don't remember if I ever covered it ending. See, people don't have enough real problems in their life. They worry about stuff that doesn't matter, like the design of keycaps. Well, dude, one could argue that stuff we argue about in this hobby doesn't really matter either, right? <laughs> Let's see, Gravehill says, another fact is he made this the cheapest base set I've seen in a long time. He wants a set to be out there, not make money. There we go, okay, okay. Gave us a very good point. Good point. So wait till it gets on mech market. You'll see someone selling this for like 500 bucks. <laughs> the helicopter says, I still want EPBT origami. I like the set, how it, how it is now. MW2DGF is misappropriation because those undergarments belong to my girlfriend. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> I'm sure NK will get a bunch of extras anyway. Yeah, it's like, I really like, let's, let's see, where is it? Here it is, here it is. I think this looks beautiful. Like, I personally don't know too much about Day of the Dead, but the way that this is designed, like, all I can say about this is that it, this is gorgeous. Like, sure, I'm not a big fan of the original base kit like that. The Papel Picado. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. But this one, this one, this one looks so good to me. And like I said earlier, I'm defi definitely getting just the novelties even if I don't jump in on the key set. Let's see, Sorley says, ooh, that Noche Negra alt set is sleek. Could be a nice IDE theme. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Serpent 65 looks hot. This whole board looks awesome. I might, I might get just a Hibby Artisan. Sorely says, haven't gone join a group by in a year or so, but this is a tempter. Dude, I'd say, you know, if, if you like art, one could argue that collecting key sets is just collecting art, <laughs> right? Get the novelties for these. These, these look beauty. This, this looks beautiful. 
99 for each kid is too hard to ignore. I might get both and the novelties. There we go. But yeah, keep in mind this is a GMK key set, you know, and even if it's cheaper, even if it's less keycaps in a key set, it all goes into a queue, right? So Q4 2023, maybe Q1 2024 is the expected delivery date. Possibly even later since we tend to just keep putting stuff into GMK's queue, right? So who knows? Who knows when this will actually come? But yeah, check it out if you guys are are interested. This one starting with, what did I say? June 3rd. June 3rd is the start date. See, I haven't been tempted by GMK Glupi in a long, long time. There we go. All right, let me update the Glupi list command. And as far as I know, those are the only key sets that are starting this week. So well, once again, that is GMK Bordeaux, GMK Prussian Blue, and GMK Miklon. I don't know how to pronounce that. Hopefully that's correct. Out of these three, which ones are you guys most interested in? I kind of already have a feel for which one, but I'd like to hear you guys say it, say it yourself. <laughs> which one of these three key sets are you guys most interested in? Yup, knew it, knew it, yup. Let's see, as soon as says it's Michlan. Okay. Buying both Michlan. Michlan for sure, but still not going to go for it because GMK. Yeah, people don't like the wait times, man. I don't I don't blame you. Prussian blue. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, if, if it were me, definitely this set, Michelin right now. But a close second would be Prussian Blue. Like earlier I said, um, GMK Bordeaux isn't really... I don't like the red, I don't like the deep brown of it. So as much as I do love drinking wine, I will have to pass on this. I may go for the... Wine stain dust mat though. I think that's so cool. I plan on getting this and just putting some of my own wine stains on it <laughs> But yeah, Prussian blue looks good too just because I like these colors, but definitely the winner This this week in terms of starting group eyes is probably gonna be this guy right here GMK Michelin Looks good looks good and the specific base kit I would buy would probably be the Noche Negra and the novelties. Those are the two kits I would go for, but fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We'll see if I actually have money when the time comes, right? All right. Now is the time that we'll be talking about audience group buys. Audience group buys is if you think I missed a key set that's either starting or key set, keyboard, whatever keyboard related that's either starting or ending this week. But yeah, Mo Hubba sent me something. Here we go. This is from Mohaba. This is the GHS gem. So according to Mohaba, there's going to be a raffle starting on June 3rd for the LE and on June 5th for the SE. On a quick browse, I didn't really see that mentioned anywhere here on the Geek Hack page. So it might be like a Discord server only type deal. Screwless, seamless, 65% keyboard by Gone Hacking Studios. If you remember GHS, GHS sent me the GHS Rare. It was this ginormous, super heavy 75% keyboard that came in a Pelican case. Loved how it was a seamless design, but if I remember correctly, my initial take on it was that it was number one, way too heavy. Number two, it felt really stiff when I was typing on it. So as much as I loved its form factor and its layout, I was like, probably not a board for me. So this is another board from them right here. Looks just as gorgeous as the RAR. PCB has tabs that you can attach silicone sleeves to. It then fits snugly into the case. Plateless is an option. Looks like Alex already built one as well. Very nice. Some broken links here from the looks of it. Plate material, aluminum, palm, PC, carbon fiber, and brass. 
6.9 degree typing angle, 3.3 kilogram case weight, 490 for the standard edition and 590 for the special edition. Dang, expensive boards. Dang. I, I have not heard about this board actually, so I'm glad that you sent this my way. But yeah, check it out guys, if you are interested. There we go. This one is Mohubba says this is the JJW play tray starts on June 1st. Oh, okay. Cause there's a cat photo. This is immediately a must buy for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. That's so cute. <laughs> but why this will be a Merlin must buy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 55 bucks. Okay, I think I can do 55 bucks. What is this supposed to be? Is it just like a screw tray with a little ball on it? It's just a screw tray, right? Okay, uh, sold. <laughs> so I will, I will totally buy this. <laughs> would totally buy this. I'd probably buy one for myself or, you know, actual build related stuff and I'll buy one for my cats. <laughs> my cats actually have this toy. It looks like it's starting June 1st till June 14th. Estimated shipping is late Q3 to Q4. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot later than I thought it would be. I was expecting this to be more like, you know, maybe like August, <laughs> right? See, it has a magnet that holds the screws in place as your cat smacks the ball around the outside. There we go. He's expecting a lot to be ordered, says Mohaba. Well, um, I might be one of those people who buys multiple. <laughs> Thanks, Mohaba, for the JJW play tray. Okay, who's next on my list? WWWN0. Okay, this is from WWWN0. Um, starts May 28th to Saturday, June 4th. And this is gonna be a raffle. We'll check it out, guys. So this comes in either, I think the keyboard itself or the numpad. Looks very vintage-esque. It even comes with a fancy pen rail right there. Basically 65% with left side macros. Looks good. This is gonna be 442 pounds. Inspired by the Cherry G81. Yeah, there we go. 10 degree typing angle. Okay, that's the probably the one thing that pushes me away. Um, I really like duck boards for a time, but the 11 degree typing angle just really got to me. So 10 degrees isn't, is better, but I still think it's gonna be too much. Yeah, full 60, 63 aluminum construction, top mounted carbon fiber plate. There we go. QMK and VIA vial compatible USB-C PCB, LED indicators. Let's see, period authentic product sticker. That's actually pretty cool. I, I like that. I like this attention to detail. It even comes with a nice QR code. Very nice. I like this. So if I if I had the money, I'd probably go for this. But yeah, that's that that's really cool. Thank you, WWWN. No. Let's see. Next one is Joshito. So you're not sure if you've seen this before. They call it a mechanical keyboard with a stream deck. No, I've not heard about this before. But this looks very peculiar. <laughs> This is the CR840, world's first mechanical keyboard with Stream Deck. So it's a 75%. 75% with an added Stream Deck. I would have preferred if the Stream Deck was on the left side rather than the right. Could, very, could be very useful for my applications here. But then if it's connected to the keyboard, that means I would always need the keyboard here, right? So... Uh... Built for creativity and productivity. Gaming, audio recording, music, podcast. Yeah, this could be very useful. Very useful if this was the only keyboard that you had. So even for audio recording? Wow, this is cool. 84 keys. Amazing typing experience. Comes with two key switch options. Huano red and brown switches? Huano isn't really a well-known company in our 
in our hobby, so probably not. It's probably not going to be a good typing experience. Let's see, diversified connectivity. Yeah, this is really cool. What the heck? That it's a touch screen. Wow. Okay. Wired USB Type C. Okay, Mac and Windows support. Good. Oh, it's an ABS frame. Cool. And the keycaps are PBT. Interesting. Yeah, this this is really cool. But just kind of impractical for like what I would do. Yeah, because this would help out during a stream, but I also like to present whatever I'm typing on during a stream, right? Like today, it's the Capsule 65, right? And this thing looks to be longer than a TKL. I think it's even longer than a 96 key, so that's too much desk space taken up. Like this would only be good if this was the only keyboard that you had. I think I'd be more interested if it was on the left side. This was kind of like a Southpaw layout, but as it is right now, it's just cool. It's not usable for, for me, at least for me. <laughs> yeah, this is this is really neat. All right, who's next? Thank you. Thank you, Joshido. If you guys like metal keycaps, you can have a lot of them to f completely cover your board. This is the aluminum Mizu keycap and keyboard from Wutra Studio. So DJ Ben says, starts on June 2nd. You also have Aurora and Mizu AE bundle limited to 1000 global globally and Canon keys will be one of the vendors. That can't be 50. Oh, there we go. $549. Um, metal keycaps sound really good to me, actually. Like it, it sounds good. Just that when it gets colder, metal keycaps will also feel colder when you're typing. That's the only drawback. And of course, they're also super expensive, right? Well, I guess that's the bundle. How much is the keycaps itself? 270, yeah, that's, that's really pricey. Yeah, apparently this goes live on June 2nd. Live on June 2nd, very pretty. Like, I love Misu, Mi Mi Mizu, but I'm not sure if I want it in metal keycap form. Novelties in metal. This actually looks great. Metal novelties. Okay. Can you just buy the novelties? Is it possible to just buy novelties? You can't even click on it. Oh, ho hopefully you can in the future. Like when once this goes live on the second, I wish you could just buy novelties because this this is like an artisan kit, right? Metal artisan kit. I am interested. Novelty seventy nine. There we go. Perfect. I can spend seventy nine. Alumizu keycap. Appreciate the pun there. This is the aluminum sky key, ski key. I think that's how you pronounce it. Starts on, started on May 24th, ends on May 31st, 40 bucks. It's like a pyramid keycap of sorts. Bundle of three, I guess, what? Why three? Because three, three is a good number, 108 bucks. Function row for 12, 390 bucks, why? Would be funny if you like, you know how like some meetups have like typing tests where there's one keyboard where it's like 150 gram springs. <laughs> you could put these on that keyboard and be like, okay, typing test, how fast can you type on this? <laughs> Would love to see that happen. Yeah, I really wonder what the reasoning of like making this was like, I, I want people to hurt themselves when they're typing. <laughs> the full function role looked like a punk spike belt. So think about this. Like everyone always jokes about how a heavy keyboard also substitutes as a as a weapon, right? Any keyboard with these can also be a weapon, right? <laughs> the very pronounced bump is pretty funny. There we go. Oh my gosh. 
Let's see all. Thank you, Tataimo. All right, floppy processor, I assume this is your shop since this is also floppyprocessor.com. But basically, floppy processor is saying these are dust mats. If you're interested, shipping is late June. Look at that. This is a very peculiar shaped dust mat. <laughs> floppy fat tiger. <laughs> it's, it's cute. I, I like it. You don't happen to have cats, do you? <laughs> like, I guess a tiger is a cat. Oh, oh, cat. Uh, sold out. Okay. No, it's sold out. Okay, never mind. Let's see, there's the floppy fat tiger half bone. Okay, kind of morbid there. Let's see, sold out, sold out. There's the floppy piggy. <laughs> What's this one? Floppy work mat. I'd be most interested in the cats, but they're sold out. Shoots. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty cool. There. Let's throw it in. Check it out, guys. This one is a macro pad. And no, I have not seen this one. Here we go. This is... Megalodon macro pad with Otemu big switches. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. How, how big is this? Okay, so the USB cable is like that. So it, it's not... It's not humongous. The top two macro buttons are seriously mammoth. While they may look cartoonish, the giant buttons make for tactile can't miss control whenever you need a satisfying thump. The giant switches are Temu big, so they're twice the size of a normal switch, topped with custom acrylic CNC keycaps. Okay. So it's not like the big switches that our community have seen before, which are four times the size of a regular switch. This one's only two times the size of a regular switch. So regardless, that means you're gonna need custom keycaps, which is why this comes with custom keycaps as well. Very interesting. I kind of wanna just buy the big switches just to see how they're like. It's cute. 65, 65 bucks seems expensive though. If this was 40, this would be like a instant buy for me. But for 65, uh, might not be worth experimenting. Megalodon macro pad. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you very much, Rockhan. Yeah, Vogel came back and updated the information he sent me. There we go. This one is, according to Bogle, this is the Block 67, a budget gummy O ring 65, uh, running from May 28th till June 28th. Um, estimated ship date is Q4 2022, seven degree typing angle. Interesting. So gummy O-ring. So this is basically like a Bakaneko 65. 170 to 175 US dollars. Okay, it's a CNC machined aluminum case. Okay, there we go. Multi-layout hot swap PCB USB-C daughter board. So basically just a better machine Bakaneko. Anything about the coating? There we go. Notably, the internal dimensions of the board have been tweaked for better acoustics. Okay. Seven distinct colors, and each board comes with an aluminum plate. I'm trying to see if there's any other info here. I'm assuming this is anodized? But yeah, this guy right here, the Block 67, is a CNC'd Bakaneko with some internal improvements from the sounds of it. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Bogle. But here we go. This one is 21 KB PBT keycap pre-orders open for round four. 
So check it out. I'm um, 21 KB uh, PBT keycap manufacturer selling for very cheap prices and apparently very good quality as well. Um, I think I had a few friends jump in on round three and have been very happy with their key sets. So thank you, Arsenal. I, I may jump in on round four. Which ones would I pick? Most likely the Chinese ones, because that's the one that I can read. Um, the Chinese ones or the Zuing. Wait, do the Chinese ones have Zuing in it as well? Let's go look. Yes, the Chinese ones have Zuing on it as well. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I guess no one's sending me any more things. 11 is good. There we go. Just as a quick recap of all the stuff that was sent, there's the GHS Gem 65% keyboard from GHS Studios down in Australia. There's the Play Tray, which I will definitely be buying multiple copies of. There's the OGR, a vintage inspired or specifically a G81 inspired keyboard and numpad. There's the CR840, a stream deck and keyboard combo. There's the aluminum Mizu keycaps. There's the pyramid triangular shaped uh, keycaps if you want to hurt yourself when typing. <laughs> There's the Chinese only group buy, which I'll probably just take out during the YouTube edit and all that. And then there's the floppy processor or desk mats. There's the Megalodon macro pad that came with Otemu switches that are two times larger than regular switches. Then there's the Bakaneko type type board called the Block 67 R2, with, which is CNC'd and has improved internals. And last but not the least, the 21KB R4 pre-order. Thanks everyone for sending all your stuff my way. Um, my next stream will be this Tuesday in which I'll be unboxing another board. But thanks guys for joining in. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend and a good start to your week. And I'll catch you when I catch you. Goodbye, everyone.